Hello, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be going over the copper cell here. I am going after this little bit of silver slimes right here, and we will be uh, decanting into here, and then we are going to supercharge this. I found a couple ideas that I want to uh, improve on, and um, stay tuned. So I've put some absorbent material. I get this from my nitric acid bottles. It's an absorbent pad. It's acid resistance. I like to use it. It uh, That came from Walmart. I'm not sure of the price per liter, but I find it pretty cheap, and they deliver with no hazmat, usually in two days. So we're getting there. Man, that's pretty close. 126 on the second one and 127 on the first one. Nailed it. All right, so we are going to get a little bit more scientific here. I have started to weigh the cathodes before, and then we'll weigh them after. All right, so we are restarting the copper sulfate cell. I have taken an idea I found from this Australian guy. I'll put his name uh, below. This guy came up some really good ideas with electrolytic cells, and I did borrow his idea, uh, and I need to give him credit for it, of using this anode basket with a trap so the slimes go in it. I had been having problems with the slimes clogging the filters, so I said, F it, and we're just gonna go with the most conductivity we can, We'll capture the slimes and process them. Hopefully we'll play it off the copper. Uh, this one right here is 127 grams uh, right here. And I want to go over the wattage. We are running two and a half volts at uh, 1.4 uh, amps. And that our wattage is 3.4. Remember volts times amps equals wattage. And uh, you know, everyone's probably like, why don't you run it higher? But I like the copper to play it out nice. Uh, this is going in my bucket. I don't care about the dendrites, but, you know, I'm not in a rush. All I want to do is recover the precious metals. And, uh, you know, if it takes a week, so what? Um, but there's that. Plus, man, I got to go over. I got to get that and get that going. And, uh, hey, there's a little sneak peek of the iron sulfate that just keeps on going. And uh, let's go over a couple other things. There's my gold recovery jar and some silver chloride. That stuff's looking pathetic. And, of course, the pH papers that I can never find when I need them. So uh, it needs a little clean up, and uh, we're ramping up. But that's my copper sulfate cell in a nutshell. Okay, you can see some of the silver slimes that have fallen out. I have to put that batch in there also. Uh, and when that settles out, I will decant and fill that up, use that as a makeup water, or excuse me, makeup solution. 